How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I've got a really quick BeamNG tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you how to simulate a car crash at an intersection using scripting. So we're just going to hop right into it. First thing we're going to need is two cars. And then I'm going to open up the world editor by pressing F11 on the keyboard. Once this menu pops up, I'm going to press this little car on the top left that lets you drive while the editor is open. Then you're going to press window, gameplay, and script AI manager. From here, you can record all of the car movements. So I'll show you that in just a little bit. First thing we're going to have to do is press shift C to switch from free camera to the car camera. And then I'm going to pause my game by pressing J or the pause button on your controller. And then from here, you're just going to press this record button. Now you can keep the editor open or closed, it doesn't really matter. I unpaused it and I'm just gonna start driving forward. And that's it. Pause the game, stop the recording, and I'm gonna press on play. Unpause, and you can see that the car is gonna follow the same path that I recorded. Now, one thing I need to mention is the AI is going to start pressing on the brakes randomly. You can kind of mess around with that if you open up UI apps, add app, and then add AI control. There's a bunch of different settings. You can turn off awareness, turn off the street speed limit, and just mess around with these values until the car stops following the street rules and everything like that. I'm not going to do that right now because it's a little bit of work. It's trial and error. Yeah, you can mess around with that if you want to. I'm gonna spawn this car back and we're gonna switch over to this car now. I'm gonna do the same thing. Press record, shift C, and just start driving forward. So you can see the timing is way off. So I'm gonna stop that recording. I'm gonna press play for both of these. Switch over to this car stop the other one and unpause i'm gonna let the car drive forward for a little bit pause it and then start playing the other one so let's see what the timing is like now it's still gonna be way off now i'll press play on the other one see it's getting closer Okay, so after a little bit of trial and error, this one should finally work. Gonna unpause, pause, and see how this one works. There you go. You can see both cars collided. Another thing is you'll notice that these both loop afterwards. If you press on more next to the recording, you can turn off loop. From here, as soon as you get the timing right, you can take a look at your percentages and match them up. So I'm gonna look back at the recording and then match them up and then we're gonna switch over to photo mode. And right here should be fine. You can press Alt U to hide the UI and we'll be able to record a scene of both cars colliding. There we go. It's at 17%, so now I'm gonna press play on this car. And then what I'm gonna do is close this, go into photo mode, and I'm gonna press Alt U to hide the UI and set up the scene camera. Right over here should be good. And then I'm gonna unpause. With all of that being said and done, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Hopefully this is helpful to you guys. You can use this for cop chases, freeway crashes. If you guys want more tutorials for the world editor, let me know and I'll start uploading them. I'll catch you guys in the next one.